Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and today I'm doing my Monday Plan With Me video. And for those newly subscribed, this is where I sit down and I tell you all the videos I have planned for the week. And you can see where you want to spend your time, if there's something you're particularly interested in, or if there's nothing you're interested in this week. I know time is very precious, and this is how I make sure to not waste some of yours. So for today, this is Monday, and <laughs> it may not look low light to you, it's pretty low light to me, and I apologize for the noise. It is raining really hard. So here's my plan with me. And those are every Monday, just for future reference in case you're curious. Now, Tuesday, I'm, last year, <laughs> my cat says hi, last year I was doing sort of history of pigments on Tuesday, and this year I'm going to sort of change direction, and I want to talk about different art styles around the world on Tuesdays. So for Tuesdays in the month of January, I'm going to be focusing on India because there's so many really, really cool art styles that I just don't think get enough attention. And we're gonna start with Madhubani. And that is a form of painting. So that's gonna be awesome. Wednesday, I want to review my homemade watercolor sketchbook that I purchased on Etsy. And it is Kadi paper. It's the Cotty watercolor paper, and I want to talk about that paper in particular in case you're not familiar with it or you've always been curious. Um, Thursday is just sort of, this is going to be a paint with me and story time where we can create together and chat and hang out. Friday, I'm going to be trying <laughs> my hand at homemade gesso. And I have, I already own the ingredients for two recipes in particular. There's some recipes I cannot try because they call for things I don't own. And since, welcome to the no buy, I'm going to try the two that I can and I'm gonna compare them and I'm gonna talk about them in case you're curious about homemade gesso because I am, mine went bad. Um, Saturday, I take Saturdays off, that is the day where I rest and recharge and do some research for the following week. And then Sunday, because I did my welcome to the no buy last, well, technically yesterday, this Sunday, I'm going to be doing art news. And this was sort of one of my New Year's resolution is I wanted to incorporate more art news into my life and I'm going to bring you along with me at least once a month. So it's not always going to be recent what's in the latest news and online articles. Some of it's going to be historical art news that is absolutely wild. I'm going to handpick my favorite art news that I've ever encountered and that's going to be what I talk about. And I will print out on my printer some fun things to go along with that and link as much stuff as possible and we can just <laughs> learn a little bit of how wild history can be when it pertains to the news and the art. And then next Sunday I will do my in-depth buy with me or no buy topic. So because of humidity I have pre-painted this. I took my Neo Color in emerald, I took one of my really old sponges and I did sort of a weird, strange texture. This is probably my final week of painting birds and I just wanted to see if I could do something clever. And we're gonna see what layers over Neo Color 2 because it's not like, I only get one shot at making this video. This video is once, so if it comes out blurry or there's an ambulance or something wild happens, like that's kind of it for this video. And I am trying to draw a resplendent Quetzal 
which is from behind, is a beautiful green bird. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool to kind of use this green to highlight this bird? But I think because you just can't see the tail feathers, I might have to try a micron on top. Let's see. And they have a beautiful, like their chest is bright red. So they clearly understand um, color theory and the importance of complementary colors. Birds are so awesome. Anyway, we'll give a little branch here. But it's the bird. And they have kind of a black beak. And a black eye. And then they have some feathers tucked within that are black. They're absolutely beautiful. But I couldn't figure out what to do with this green spread once I created it. I was like, it kind of looks like a, a ball field. I could draw like a, a soccer field or put a quote, not grass is greener on the other side, but maybe the grass is greener where you water it or something motivational, but I'm still feeling my birds. So, this beautiful bird has a little bit, this was the dark fallow green and I'm going to switch to the juniper, I think, for maybe a little more contrast. They have a little bit of spikes. I love birds with mohawks. It's like they know, you know? They're like, yeah, I'm beautiful, but check it out. I can also have a mohawk. So how is your Monday going? Are you getting things done? I've been deep cleaning my office for extra motivation. And it has led to me deep cleaning other parts of the house. It kept going. So now I'm in a huge deep clean of the house. I don't know, January always makes me want to declutter and clean. Okay. I think I'll add some blue. Hmm. Maybe this one. I don't know if this is going to show up any. But I do like analogous colors. Okay. And then, just for fun, we'll add a sticker. Because you know me and stickers. And here is the sticker box by Yuko Higuchi. And I got this on Etsy from Japan so the shipping the shipping was a lot to North America but she has some cute ones and they're kind of paper and you can draw on some of them which is awesome but I thought this would just be funny to just include a cat making a face for Saturday all right here is the week ahead in videos so I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow bye